You made a very important yeah. point there, um, you know, um, like, you know, talking about advanced. I think one of the um, very important aspects, uh, and I'm, I'm looking forward to this with, with your class, is that people uh, still have this belief that it's complicated, it's difficult uh, to, you know, achieve results. It has to take a long time. And most definitely, I wouldn't be able to do that. You know, so um, and me as like a therapist, right? So um, one one thing I've noticed when, in my training is I probably the biggest obstacle, the biggest hurdle students have is to actually believe that what they've been taught is everything that you know they could have been taught, and the only thing that they need to do then is just apply. You know. Because they always think, oh, they sh there is more to it, you know, like, I should know more, or I should no, just, just take it and do it, and by doing it, you'll get it. Yeah, I, again, I'm a big, a big believer in that. There, there is an endless amount of theorizing and vast bodies of peer-reviewed research about hypnosis. If that's your thing, and I love that stuff too, then get into it in your own time. And... Um, look at the different theories and, and, and settle on one if you like yeah. or don't you don't have to. but in terms of your practice in terms of um, can I use this for my own personal development personal change can I help a loved one or a friend who is stuck can I have some fun and excuse my dogs yeah. I'm at home today um, can I um, have some fun with this can I augment my existing performance with this then the simple answer is begin it's it's everything I mean to give you an example everything that we teach 100% is stuff that we use in our own practice in our own performance in our own personal application I don't teach anything that even really dives deeply into theory or history or requires uh, a deeper understanding of that or a belief on your part. I show you the technique. I explain it as you practice it. My courses yeah. are very practical workshops where you're on your feet. We're breaking out into pairs or groups and we practice the technique. You know, certainly more than half of the time in any of my training is spent practicing. And when you practice under guidance, then the tiny adjustments, you know, are often all that you need, you know, just a little bit higher or slow that down just a touch. So that by the time you've done something three or four times, you kind of start to get the feeling, I think I could do this in the real world. Yeah. That's, that, that was the question I was going to ask you if, you know, if like, um, if this would be a practical experiential workshop or more theoretical or how is that going to go? And you um, oh, yeah, well, I kind of touched on it there, but, but very little theory. I mean, I, I will um, explain where I'm at and how I've moved from a sort of state based perspective through a number of kind of views, social views to where I am now, which is very much a non state view of hypnosis. My father, you know, despite the fact that we work together and have done so for over 20 years, has a kind of different view. He's, he's much more of a state guy, albeit that that state is about building emotion, raising emotion and, and giving suggestion. And, and, and the point is we don't have to be on exactly the same page to do effective work yeah. or to work together. And that's you know, and, because and people it, get to it, see both parts, you know, like here's the emotional part, here's the logical part. And guess what? They both work. Yeah, and, 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 it, and just because I may have a, a, a kind of non-state view, as it's sometimes called, I see all the state stuff, trance, sleep, and deeper, as a suggested effect yeah. that we don't have to suggest, but we can. But that doesn't preclude me from spiking someone's emotion because I think that's going to you know, make them hear what follows it. Absolutely, I will do that. So it's kind of healthy in that sense in that we're still learning. We learn from each other. And... Um, Ultimately, none of us have to set up camp anywhere. Yeah. The, 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 the moment you really do that and start to build a fortress around your ideas, yeah. you, you already start to get a bit stale and eventually things can become dead, especially in the light of new research. So, yeah, I, I run a practical workshop awesome. where I, I just believe that we grow just generally, not just in hypnosis, but we grow through experiences. I'm, I'm a big advocate of that, that – 
you know, it's a basic human need to be stretched. It's something that this organism needs to be healthy. And when we're learning stuff, that's very much part of it is that I want you to feel that you're working, you know, around the edge of your ability. And by the time you've done that three or four times, then, you know, you'll just expand a little and you leave with some takeaway. Awesome. It's not that you have to sign up to a new approach, a new theory or anything or, or, or disband from the stuff you've already got. It's more a case of, you know, I can use that. I can see how I can apply that and I can plug it in right here. So, great yeah. Stuff. Great stuff. Ok, sper că ți-a plăcut acest interviu. Uh, de-abia aștept să ne vedem, sper să ne vedem, cum spuneam, la uh, workshop-ul pe care Anthony Jackman și Floyd Jackman îl vă susține în 17-18 februarie 2018 la București. Dacă nu poți veni în sală, dacă nu poți participa în corp, să spunem așa, poți participa online pe internet oriunde te afli în lume. Ce ai făcut acum? Înscrie-te, uh, asigură-ți un loc la acest training și uh, de-abia aștept să ne vedem cu toții și să ne bucurăm cât mai mult să învățăm de la cei mai buni și să putem ajuta astfel cât mai mulți oameni. Îți mulțumesc și ne vedem în curând. La revedere!